Let us start a next-gen Buddhist fellowship of, get this, full metal monks. <laughs> Please, Dharma has brought me peace. Do not deprive me of it. Open your flap again and I'll rip your tongue out. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. Plantations against my police. Please, I do not want them. down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? I was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. No, but the truth is that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It is not up to us to judge what they deserve. Um, yeah, sure. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as a stranger. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? 
It used to be they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it.
Excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kind of spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Chill place you got here. Quiet, calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh shit. He went with the cops, are ya? More the opposite. <gasps> Phew! <laughs> good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Uh, okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Anything available short notice? Ah, uh, one sec. Ah, uh, checking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, got one on the ground floor. That okay? I'll take it. Nova. Uh, I was gonna finish. Nova. Rooms number one hundred six. Oh, but hold on. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home.
You work here? Nah. Just fucking taking in the sights. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? All right, all right. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician, everything. Looking for a friend. Booker Updike. Wait a sec. That, uh, he a tall white guy? Kinda keeps to himself, yeah? Could be. Haven't seen each other in a while. What makes you say that? Well, he's been locked up in his room. Don't ever come out. Not even for coffee in the AM. 
But hey, customer is king, right? He wants peace and quiet. We give it to him. No questions. Open up his room for me. Yo, I just said privacy's kinda our thing here. He'll come out if he wants to come out, okay? Privacy is a service, huh? How much you charge for that? Something like this? Maybe more? Little, little bit more. Done. Now open the room and be quick. Sure, come with me, but keep it down, eh? Not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Ha ha. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Ugh, gonna puke. Smell that, right? Ventilation. Mm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? Like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Take a look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent.
Just get out. Attention NCPD subcons. Hello? Suspected organized crime activity reported on Hargreen Street. APB out for Darius Miles, wanted for murder. Perp belongs to 6th Street Gang and leads one of its drug manufacturing rings. The city has promised a reward for terminating the threat from Miles and his drug cell.
Michael called. Before sundown, out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. So, V, the beta assets secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for ten bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way.
Ready and waiting. Want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? Beast. Time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit-shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah? Rancho? Be right there. See you then. Take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. This race has given me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? Got 6th Street, the Mox. Gangs are well repped. Just a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure.
Watch our back. We're moving to pass. Dare him to try. to Luigi and Margo! We did it, B. We're finals bound. Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? Need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there. Quite the view. Yeah, me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah. Wieldy or Heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. He brought daffodils to the hospital. It's a new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our fifteenth, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess, but it's fine. Dean, only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guests will never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? I mean, meaning, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. You saying you feel at fault for his death? Me at fault? Why would you think that? He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel. Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight. Sampson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. Was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to lost control. But isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Samson had a history going way back. 
Something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Right, so, this isn't business as usual for you. This isn't about winning. Well, that's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this your best plan for vengeance? Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races, in line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go, not try to repeat. And me. Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. Means a lot to you, this. So yeah, let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This... It's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. Blind goat on the road. I feared you'd forgotten about me. About you? Oh, come on, never. Just been swamped. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Relax. Don't need to explain. Right. So, gonna stop by or gonna make me grovel? Be great to see all you guys. Prime. <laughs> Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. 
actually miss you too, River. I'll see you at Joss's. I'll see you at Joss's. Perfect. Till then. Then. Yes. 
Wait, where's Brendan? They just came and took him, just like that! They said, they said they had to reevaluate part of his code. I tried stopping them, told them he was my best friend. They looked at me like I was crazy. If they'd just talked to him, they would have realized Brendan isn't your typical schism. I knew it couldn't have just been me. He's like, he's like a real person. They took him to a maintenance point. One of them must have felt sorry for me or something. He gave me his card. Bring him back, please. I, I can't do this without him. Somebody pinch me. How can I help you? Your place. What is it exactly? Welcome to your local soft sis service point. Give new life to old tech. You fix equipment? Seriously? People actually do that instead of buying new? With the amount of customers we get, find myself asking the same question day after day. Here to see Brendan. Guess somebody brought him here. Uh, what Brendan's that again? Seriously? When your energy's low, grab a drink to go, go, go. Or however it is. Ah, that schism they brought in. <laughs> he really does have some of the catchiest slogans, don't he? <laughs> but hey, look, I, I can't let you back there. Can't afford to have to break something even worse. Got no idea what you're tinkering with. Brendan's unique, damn near miracle of science. Bet the bank you've never come across a machine with that kind of cognitive matrix. For an AI to exist in such a small... All right, all right. <coughs> you know for it. Trust you won't break nothing. Go check on your... <coughs> Excuse me, just a sec. Got no idea what you're tinkering with. Brendan's unique, damn near miracle of science. Bet the bank you've never come across a machine with that kind of cognitive matrix. For an AI to exist in such a small... All right, all right, Jesus, you know your stuff. Oh, not good, Trust not good. you won't break nothing. Go check on your little miracle while its firmware gets updated. Uh, he's getting updated? Battery low! Well, I'll be darned. What a pleasant surprise. You came to say your final goodbyes? You mean you're not getting scrapped, are you? You were making bank. Thanks for the compliment, but I guess that's the problem. 
Seems like I was unfair competition in the SCSM market. They're updating my system as we speak. To make me sound less like a real person. My boss really didn't like that. I reportedly creeped customers out. <sighs> Stupid Brendan. Why did I say stuff they didn't want to hear about themselves? If somebody wants a therapy session, they go to a psych doc. Not a soda machine. I suspected as much. You're not actually an AI, are you? At least not anywhere close to an AGI. The processing power required to handle an AI with the capacity for free will? Your processor just isn't big enough. And you'd be correct. Say, you must be a pretty good techie. Your code monkey deserves a prize. Best combo emulating algorithm I've ever interacted with. Almost had me fooled. You seem slightly disillusioned. Well, who else could say their friend was a schism? Someone was crazy enough to be beautiful. Looks like the update will soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? <laughs> so, how about it? You know what? Go for it. I could learn to laugh like that too. Don't get all mushy on me now, V. You... You have to... <clears throat> to keep living. Tell Theo... Tell Theo that she's stronger... Please, <clears throat> than she thinks. <clears throat> Don't worry, Brendan. I'll tell her. Hey, V. Where was Johnny Silverhand when the... Uh, uh, when the bomb at Arasaka Tower went off? Don't know. Where? All over the place. Literally. Software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brendan. I'll miss you. Please, come out with your hands up! Do it a goddamn drone. Budget cuts my ass.
So, did you find him? Where is he? Is he coming back? I found him. Told me to tell you that you're strong inside. Always were. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, right? I'm just worrying for nothing, aren't I? Just blowing things out of proportion, assuming the worst. Typical. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that... bad news? The Brendan you knew is gone. They replaced him with some generic AI that's gonna be in every schism. He told me to tell you that he'll miss you. Fuck! Oh... I mean, thanks. Damn it. Stupid robot was the best thing to happen to me in months. You know? Brendan got me out of a really dark place. Doesn't matter who or what he really was. I'm gonna miss him too.